Larry, what do you suggest you have? Most, by the way, most of our nonprofits tend to be uh, on the smaller to the midsize part of the equation. What suggestions do you have for setting major donor pipeline goals, particularly for your uh, nonprofit, maybe that small or midsize? How about setting goals? Yeah, well, Jim, setting goals is, is always a, uh, a difficult thing to do. Uh, but with regard to pipeline, your, 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 your point of, of uh, what's, what's the word, the narrowest point of the pipeline is, yeah. is your most restrictive part. And that is the number of discovery visits you can make, right? Because you can't grow your pipeline, really, until you've got discovery visits done. Hey, and take, take so, a moment. Take a moment to explain a discovery visit. A discovery visit is essentially you have you have found a connection between someone who's qualified to be a donor or a major donor with a say a board member, and the board member helped introduce the two of you. And you you're meeting, you know, I'm meeting with Margie for the first time because she's connected through a board member, and I want to sit down and talk to Margie about what her interests are. Uh, what's her philanthropy like? Does she have a philanthropy plan? How does my organization's mission fit into her worldview and her objectives? And I'll then size up by learning more about her through research, going to her home per perhaps, getting a sense of what she's about, and I'll size her up as to whether she ought to be in someone's portfolio for further follow-up. Right, or to put her into the direct mail list uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or, the, or the email list. So that's what a discovery visit is. And, and they're uh, profoundly valuable uh, to, yeah. to, to, to do. So your, 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 your tight spots have to do with being able to do discovery visits plus working your portfolio. So how do you feed that? And you wanna yeah. feed it, you wanna feed it through uh, what I call relationship screening. So I build this list of qualified folks from your, from your donor file, right? No, no surprise there. People who've attended your events and so forth, certain criteria, people who have given to other organizations like your own, and then showing them to your board members and your volunteers and asking them to, in, in the way Copley Raft does it, circle a few numbers that indicate the depth of the relationship. Yeah, I know them well enough to put a note on an invitation, I know them well enough to take them to dinner, et cetera. And by that, doing that exercise, you build what's called, I call a relationship map. And all and that is, yeah. all that is, is a list of prospects. And then which of your stakeholders is linked to that prospect? And what is the depth of their relationship? We're going to so dig you, in on that a little deeper. You, you immediately have a, you immediately have a pipeline by yeah. doing screening. So you can set a goal for the number of times you screen with a number of people. That's one thing, that's one measurable. Another measurable is discovery visits. And then there's goals for portfolios, which is two hour discussion. <laughs> mm -hmm.